Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I know <laughs> for a very, very long time, it's been really bugging you to, uh, to see all those knives in the background move my fat head and never get a close-up shot of it. So today, we're going to go take a look at them closer. What do you think about that? Let's see. People have been requesting this video for a long time. And today is the day. By the way, crap load of hot sauce and all kinds of stuff there to do videos on. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at what you guys have been already looking at for a long time now. These, uh, these three knife cases on the wall in the back of my webcam videos. By the way, this is not my webcam, obviously. Um, this is my regular camera. I just thought I'd start off like that because I know that's the view you're used to seeing. I love using the webcam just because it's simple to use. Um, but anyway, yeah, let's take a closer look at these. By the way, these two cases right here I got from E Knife Works, which is Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Uh, I believe they were both, I, you know, I did an unboxing of them like two years ago. And I want to say they were like $25 each. And basically you can get whatever color you want, just foam insert and a, a very simple oak thing with a, it's got locks on them, but I don't really lock them up. Um, basically have them, uh, you know, some screws on the wall, some dry roll screws through some, um, what am I thinking of? I had a blank. Complete brain fart. Uh, studs. <laughs> yeah, I have uh, the drywall screws to the studs in the wall so I can hang them, take them back off to uh, rearrange them. So that's the setup here. Really simple. This case here was custom built. Uh, my dad built that for me many years ago. I've been using it since probably I was 13 years old. So can't buy that anywhere, unfortunately. But these things you can, and they're great for display. And you can put anything in there. Basically, they're, they're sitting on squishy foam and they're pushed up against the glass front. So they're kind of staying there from the pressure of the glass. Uh, so obviously, if uh, this didn't already dawn on you, you don't want to fill it up too much because you could put too much pressure on the glass and it will break it. But anyway, uh, yeah, just an array of slip joints. This is how I display all my slip joints. Um, on this side, we have a bunch of my Texas toothpicks. Now, all these on the right are various brands from Schrade, to uh, Rough Rider. Uh, the bottom one is a uh, Buck model. Um, Kissing Crane. I just wanted to get a variety of them. And my ultimate goal is to get, you know, probably 30 or 40 different brands and their expression of a, uh, you know, mini Texas toothpick. So, really cool, various, you know, handle materials and so forth. On the left side here, I have three um, WR Case and Sons versions. Uh, the top one is the Companion on that stacked pearl series and I don't I no longer have the trapper if you guys saw I did a sale video a while ago for that beautiful beautiful knife if this camera will focus let's get in close and cut the glare a little bit yes but it is genuine mother of pearl ah, come on focus there we go and uh, stacked and you can see even the bolsters are getting blurry again so let's back out <laughs> but anyway yeah a couple of uh, Texas toothpicks uh, various different slip joint patterns here from the various companies. This little mini hunter is a purple jigged bone and that's a WR Case and Sons, one of their limited edition models. Um, over here we have a tuxedo knife you know, like a, a pink bubblegum uh, finish. A couple, another couple of uh, case pen knives. I uh, got a Barlow here which is not case but it's really really cool. Got that from uh, another YouTuber. Actually I think I got that from Quality Knives. Uh, a long time ago, she threw that in a trade, a trade or some something Spyderco related. I forget, but uh, it was really a nice little bonus thing. I like it a lot. You know, it doesn't have to be an expensive knife to be a cool knife. But anyway, a couple uh, peanuts here, and on top, these are all WR Case and Sons knives except for the um, six blade of Stockman's. Okay, I have two of them up here. I believe is the uh, Rough Rider. And that was the Jim Bowie series, and it's a six-bladed Stockman, which I really like. And then I have a, uh, a Colt six-bladed Stockman. Man, that light, there we go. Sorry, the ceiling fan light is uh, really killing with the glare. But I uh, really like those a lot. I have a couple uh, case hobos here. Obviously, there's that one with the uh, uh, brown jig bone. Then I have one in rosewood with the uh, serrated blade. And then one down here that has the addition of the spoon in a uh, um, 
So I believe it's it's it appears to be a uh, stag, but it's not. It's a jig bone to look like stag. Then I have two uh, sow bellies, WR Case and Son. Really nice. Five blades, and this one's a three bladed uh, sow belly. Pretty cool. And then uh, in the case here, these are all besides the top shelf. Those two wooden knives. There we go. Which I like a lot. All right. Much better. Ooh, look at those glare. Beautiful. All right. Let's look at this, those top ones again without the, the glass glare. Sodbuster, the green one. Then the, uh, the stag in the middle is the cheetah. And then a full size uh, toothpick, Texas toothpick. All right. Once again, there's all the copper locks. Really cool. It's basically a, a centered lock back knife with a nice clip point blade and an oversized thumbnail nick which is right here this groove is you know to use your thumbnail to uh to open your blade really nice contour on there i just it's one of my favorite patterns i mean of course my two favorite are six plus bladed stockmans as well as a um mini texas toothpick but there's a variety of different blades i really like different slip joint patterns i like and of course there's the sow bellies again now on the middle uh, shelf here there's a variety of different knives there's a couple muskrats um, just just a slew of different things, but really nice variety here. I love that Warncliffe blade on that one on the end. It's really cool. Some older ones here. I love, of course, that Damascus Warncliffe blade. There's something about a Warncliffe blade on a slip joint that's extra sexy. Because it's not so traditional, as much as like a clip point or even a drop point. But uh, just a variety of different models here. Some slimline trappers. In the middle here, that blue and the green one. Some interesting handle materials. You will see videos on these in the future. Um, I will definitely have videos on some close-ups, talk about these different patterns a little bit more. And then my pride and joy, of course, one of the most popular frames to collect is just a standard uh, full-size trapper, which has a spade blade and a clip point blade. And I have them in a variety of different handle materials. So just a quick little scan over, and then a little mini one here in the front. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, what you've been looking on in the background here are my slip joint collection. And it's like 90% WR Case and Sons, and uh, a couple random ones mixed in. So that's it to, uh, to kill the curiosity. I know people have been wondering for a long time now, but that is what's up with the background.